Welcome. My name is John Trobaugh, and I'd like to introduce you to Webster Forest Seedling Nursery here in Tumwater, Washington. We're just south of Olympia. The nursery is owned and managed by the Washington Department of Natural Resources, and part of our mission is to grow seedlings for reforestation throughout the state of Washington for both state land. As part of that mission, we grow seed zones and elevations that cover the full span of Washington State, including a three to 4,000 foot elevation down in the Blue Mountains of Southeast Washington. An important consideration when you're ordering seedlings is the stock type that you're gonna order. There are two general categories, a bare root seedling and a containerized seedling. Let's first start with bare root seedlings. What we do is we take the seed and we sow it into a nursery field like this one. This whole field is full of one-year-old uh, seedlings similar to this one. So we sow the seed in the field and we grow it for one year. Now from here, we have two different options, ways we can go. After you take a 1-0 seedling, we can continue to grow it in that same place in the field for a second year. And that's called a 2 plus 0, a 2-0 seedling. That's two years in the seed bed and zero years in the transplant. And that's what a 2-0 Douglas fir seedling looks like. The other option is to take the 1-0 seedling, lift it and transplant it at a lower bed density. And what you get with that is a one plus one Doug fir seedling. So that's one year in a seed bed plus one year in a transplant bed. That extra transplanting gives you a larger fibrous root system and a hardier caliper, larger caliper seedling. That transplanting increases our cost, so it costs more for that seedling, but you get a larger, woodier seedling for the dollar. Another type of bare root seedling is a plug plus one, and that's where certain species, such as the cedar and the spruce, are very difficult to germinate in a field situation like this. So what we do is we start them in a greenhouse, in a small plug like this, this is a two cubic inch plug, we'll grow them in a greenhouse for a year to get them started. Then we take these and we transplant them into the bed. So what you end up with is a plug plus one seedling. And this is a, a large seedling, and it's really the only way that you can get some seedlings like the spruce and the cedar started. Because we start them in the greenhouse and transplant them, it is a little bit more costly, but it really is the only way to get these species going.